July 1st, 1898, we are on the island of Cuba. Spanish Mauser on the right side and the Craig rifle underneath. That means only one thing, a Spanish-American war. We're going to liberate uh, Cuba from oppression of the Spaniards. Or oh, will die trying, right? Anyhow, uh, this is a very, very interesting uh, matchup. The Craig rifle, as you guys know, how chambered in 3040 Craig, kind of hard cartridge uh, to find. I'm using uh, for that drive for HSM made ammo, and this is 170 grain soft points uh, for the Spanish Mauser. If we'll have to use it, I'm going to use the soft points uh, from the uh, SNB. So both not really, you know, match great type of the ammo. We will see what we can do with all this ammo and those beautiful, beautiful rifles. As always, this is a one shot, one kill event. Iron sights uh, and I'm going to cycle through the targets up to the 500 uh, yards. Since we Americans are attacking, Sergeant Ski goes behind the Craig rifle and I'm going to engage the first target. I'll be checking with Ula if the camera is ready so you guys have a camera trace on each uh, target so that may take some time and delay between two of us uh, to work it out. One shot, one kill. If I miss, I'm switching to the defending uh, rifle and the points will be deducted. So let's uh, roll. Ula, are we ready with the 100 yards? Yes, we are. It's 105 yards, actually. No, no, not much of distance. And I'm seeing this target's got a, it's got a dot on the head. Uh, it's like from the Squid Games, that uh, Netflix series, right? That's what is it? Are we playing the Squid Games here? <laughs> not really, not really. And that movie was from uh, South Korea. So, oh my God, we traveled between the Cuba and the Korea now. <laughs> All right, let me see. My I'm set up. Uh, for this distance, and my notes are saying, if I will hold the sights on uh, screws at uh, the bottom of the head, I should achieve the headshot. Let's see if that's true. All right, smooth action. I love the action on the Craig rifle. There's no question about that. Pull it inside. Let me see where that hit was. Boom, we are right on the left side of the circle, uh, but that's a perfect, uh, good headshot. And uh, the first Spaniard is uh, down. So that's a major plus for Sergeant Ski <laughs> from US Army. Uh, Ula, are we ready for 150 yards? We are ready for the 150 yards. From my vintage point, I can barely see just the shoulders and the head. For 150, let me check my notes. And my notes are saying the same, uh, keep the same settings on the rear side. And actually the way how I zero it, it sets uh, 3.5 and uh, it, you should be dead on on it. So the second round goes to the chamber and uh, this is the uh, Fed Spanger. It looks like he's uh, like a El, uh, El Matador, right? <laughs> like I, let's see if we can put him out of the misery. Boom, that's a hit. Let me see where I got him because that's interesting for me. Wow, right between the screws. This is exactly where I was holding on a head level. Hopefully you guys can see it. Uh, this Craig rifle, it's interesting story, guys. Uh, I got it and uh, I look into the board when I was buying it from uh, the very nice gun store uh, in Tennessee. The link uh, to that store will be uh, in the video description. but. When I got it, I checked the board and kind of looked like, eh, you know what, it's it's not perfect, but uh, this is the uh, Craig rifle. I mean, you're not going to have a brand new one, right? So I roll a dice on it, I went with it, and, and I'm happy I did, because the rifle shoots very, very nicely. Enough with the bullshit talk, let's uh, switch to the 255 yards. Okay, two notches uh, pass 400 setting. So let me let me move my S up and let me adjust that uh, side 
So it was two notches past four and I think I got this nice. There we go. And Ula, are we ready with 255 yards camera? Yes, we are. All right, she's ready. She's doing a fantastic job. This is the live TV, live TV, guys. Round goes into the chamber. All right, again, very little. This is very, very small target at 250 yards. Uh, this is the, uh, the Spangard who did not have a lot of siesta. <laughs> He's exercising too much. Uh, he has to be removed. So our uh, basically attack on the hill can continue. Let's see. Boom, that's a hit. Let me see where I got him. Oh, with iron sights, you cannot see it. All right. Wow, uh, I got him on the neck on the left side of the head. This is exactly from my vintage point. This is what I can see. So I aim in that upper portion of the body and looks like I'm dead on, on it. A little bit on the left side, but hey, that's a beautiful hit right into the neck. You are not going to exercise anymore. You are done, uh, mister. All right, uh, time for the 300. Uh, time for the 300. It is the same setting in my notes. Uh, we should be good at the 300 with the same settings on the uh, rear side. So I'm not going to change that. Ula, how are we doing with 300? Are we Let's good? Go. All right, you're gonna speak up. I cannot hear you here. <laughs> All right, so 300 uh, yards, uh, so far so good. The U.S. Army is charging and uh, we taking uh, the, the positions and taking down the Spaniards. Let's see if uh, this can continue. Whoa, that was the miss. Oh my goodness, how I missed that shot. I heard, I think I went too low because I thought uh, it, that sound was like I touched something. Hey, excuses, excuses. You know what it means, guys, that uh, the uh, sergeant ski may die now. And I'm going to switch. I'm going to switch to the Mauser. Spanish Mauser will have a chance uh, to Avenge uh, dead bodies <laughs> from uh, from the three previous targets. And let me check that uh, 300. Yeah, I cannot see the hit. So uh, definitely the guy got, uh, you know, he's untouched. At 300, I got a setting. Uh, notes 4, put it on 4, aim low at the bottom of the plate. So I'm going to flip the sides. And I need the ammo for it. Let me dig out the ammo. So the Spaniards uh, will have a chance uh, to shoot at the Americans right now. And as you know from the history of the battle, guys, uh, the American losses were, uh, I think it was like 144 killed. So no surprise here uh, that the Spaniards will have a chance to return the fire. All right. Okay. And that's a hit. Guess what? Sergeant Ski is dead. All right, where is the hit? Hit is right underneath of uh, the screws. So this is a major minus uh, for the Sergeant Ski and the US Army. And uh, we taking casualties. Uh, fantastic job by the Spanish mouse that it delivered to where it, uh, where it shoot. So we switching back to the Craig rifle. Let's see if Craig Rifle can redeem himself. <laughs> All right, uh, we are done at 300. 300 was a miss. Uh, 325, 325, uh, the same setting as for 300. But you know what, guys? I really thought I uh, was low on that. So let me aim higher at the 325 and we'll see where this is going to take us. Uh, Ula, how are we doing with the camera? Let's go. All right, 325 is good. And I'm going to gamble. As I said, I'm going to put it higher now. I'm going to aim higher on this 325 yard small target. Mm. 
that's a hit that's a beautiful hit uh, i'm back into the groove with the crack rifle let me see where the hit is okay we are still a little bit low i was aiming high and we are like in that lower third portion of the target that's again very very small uh target but uh it's a good hit so let me put the major plus uh, for the U.S. Army. Sergeant Ski is dead, but another sergeant jump and is leading the charge against the Spaniards. 350 yards, 350 yards. For 350 yards, my notes are telling me I should be at the position number five. So let me adjust the sights <laughs> for five. All right, I'm good. Ola, how you are doing with uh, 350? Let's go. All right, she's ready. And I'm putting the round into the chamber. Let's see if we can put that fat Spaniard to sleep. Was hit on, was hit on something. Head. I hear that. Yep, boom! It's a headshot. So dead in the center, a little bit high. I was aiming more high in the center, but we are a little bit high on this. But it's a beautiful hit. The fat Spaniard flipped. Uh, he did 360 or oh, 180. Either way, he is done. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm happy to say. Uh, that uh, we have to switch to the 400 settings and it says I should bump it up a little bit for 5.5 on the rear notch okay and I'll just bump it up a little bit not too much see this is the issue with those sides uh, they are very 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 fragile and you have to be careful how you are tightening that screw. So this should be this should be good now. Ula, how are we doing with uh, the port? One second. Okay, she's still fighting with the camera. I will place the round here. Uh, but uh, basically, with the sights on the Craig uh, rifle, they are perfect target sights. And the way how you manipulating, you can adjust the windage on it. Uh, and then, of course, you got that sliding scale. They are very, very accurate and delicate. Uh, but uh, and compared compared to the basically uh, what we got on the Spanish Mauser, the Spanish Mauser was a little bit crude, right? No windage adjustments. You got to go for that front post adjustments, and you got the basic adjustments for the elevation. So with uh, the sides, Craig was doing much better. Now, is it the perfect combat side? Hmm, uh, hard to tell. Uh, you can lower that peep sight, use uh, the open sights and uh, deliver the hits too. Uh, but like, I'm, I'm all the time when you got many, many screws on something, what happens? Usually they go up, uh, something happens and they are broken, right? So you gotta be careful with that. But that was the decision the US Army went with that type of the sights. And hey, uh, it, it served them. Well, so uh, I'm not going to uh, argue about that. It is what it is. You cannot change the history unless we're going to fail here, right? <laughs> okay, the All Maybe right, 400 fine. ready? 400 ready. Round goes to the chamber and the 400. We got some light wind, not much down the field uh, from what I'm seeing a little bit. And okay, it hits three inches above the center. So, okay. I'll still try to keep it more or less in the center because it's hard. That was hit. At least we hit something. Uh, I hear that. Oh yeah, we are right below the screws and uh, yeah, just like it says, it was a little bit, you know, above the triangle. So beautiful hit uh, from the crack rifle. I cannot complain about that shot. That's the major plus. And uh, for the 450, at the 450, we're keeping the same setting on the rear side. So no adjustments. Uh, I'll just wait for the Ula to tell me that she's ready. I'll Let's adjust. Go. We ready? 
Yep. All right. And that uh, 450 target, again, uh, this is a very, very small uh, Spaniard. <laughs> and he's hiding in the shadow. So this is a very small target, all joking aside. And the notes are saying, uh, aim at the bottom of the target. All right, that's what I'm going to do. Oh my goodness, yes. On that tree for, through the sides, holy cow. Holy cow. Uh, oh boy. Oh, I can, I don't know guys. I can barely see that target. Yep. I, I don't know. I didn't hear anything. And the target appears to be clear too. No, Guys, no, uh, the no, issue no, with sorry. this is absolutely freaking unbelievable. And I'll explain it in a second what's going on. Uh, so the front pose is black. And the target is so small at the 450, uh, it is a very narrow target, only nine inches to play with. That with that front post and that tree, what I'm getting is basically everything is blending in and I don't have a good sight picture on that small target. But excuses, excuses, we're switching to the Spanish Mauser Excuse because me. the rules, rules of the game are simple. If I miss with the one, it's time for the other rifle to shine. And the 450, the setting should be on five. So let me adjust, boom, we are on five. And it says aim in the center. It should be dead on. Let me pull out another round. And this time I'll press it well to the magazine. There you go. Round is in the chamber for sure. Ula, how we doing? She's still good. All right, let me see. Seven millimeters of rage. Now, chance to, to shoot and revenge some dead Spaniard. And that's a miss too. And I'm having the same issue here. What's going on, guys? Really, that front pose, the way how the lighting is, and you in, in the camera, you probably are seeing an awesome picture, awesome contrast, and you're like, what he is talking about? But with that small target at the 450, what is happening with the iron sights, I'm completely losing the sight picture on it. And even with that post, which that post is a triangle, nice tip of the triangle, uh, I, I really, I cannot place nicely that uh, front post. The sun would have to be more behind me to put more light on that target. So I will call this a draw. Nobody killed anyone at the 450 uh, because I can keep wasting rounds on it, but it's going, I don't see the target. If you cannot see something, you cannot kill it, period. So we're going back to the Craig rifle. And the Craig rifle is back into the running. And we have a one last target at the 500 yards. And the 500 yards, my setting is telling me that I have to be right on the six line. All right. And the six is set. Okay. I think, let me correct myself. Because it's very tricky if you got there. You go, that's a six line. That looks more like a six. And aim at the shoulders. All right. That's in my notes. Ula, how are we doing with camera? Ready. All right. Camera is ready. Let me see if I can deliver on that 600 yard target. Something uh, made the noise, but it wasn't much. I want to see. Oh, <laughs> you wouldn't believe it. It's a hit. It's a hit, guys. I basically shaved off his top of his head. 
So we are a little bit high. What I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to put one more shot at that target. It's a hit, but I'm going to put one more shot at that target and I will, I'm going to aim lower. Let's see if uh, we can prove that you could be consistent. Boy, yeah, that's a hit, right? It takes a long time, right above uh, the tip of the triangle. It takes a long time for that round to travel 500 yards. Beautiful hits uh, at the 500 yards. I'm confident, guys, with the better visibility on that 450, I'll whack that target uh, too. I don't know, I honestly don't know what happened at uh, 300. I'll have to review the footage. Uh, but that's the game. That's the game. So we had uh, one miss at 300, and uh, but that was a hit uh, for for the Spanish Mauser. Uh, let me bring the Spanish Mauser to the picture. That was a hit for the Spanish Mauser. So major point for the Spanish Mauser. But uh, then uh, the 450 both uh, rifles uh, choked, or should I say, the shooter before behind the both rifles uh, choked. Anyhow, uh, all taking into the account, we won, we liberated Cuba, Spaniards are dispersed uh, from the hill, and uh, we're going to celebrate and dance and uh, drink in the tropics, right? <laughs> uh, probably it wasn't something, uh, probably it was something uh, good uh, set up for the soldiers afterwards, because they really did liberate that Cuba at that time, right? All right, guys, thank you for watching. As always, please let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. See you in the next video. Bye. All right, so for those who are not familiar with the Norwegian uh, Craig rifle adopted by the U.S. Army in uh, early 90s, uh, you don't have a stripper clip. As you can see, the rounds are loose in my hand. You open this magic box on the side and you gotta kind of put them like that while well, you got this how they are sliding in there you go and you can if you are really trained on this you can really shovel them nicely and now you have to close the box and that pushes the round here on the left side of the bolt so now with my move forward i removed the round from the magazine and the round is in the chamber. So they are rotating underneath and po popping up from the left side. Kind of neat system. Not perfect, but hey, I guess it worked, right? Let me go to shooting now. Nice, let's see. Boom, and next round in the chamber. Let's lay that low target here. Boom, that was a prone. From target and see another round in the chamber. Magic. I don't know how it works, how it is working, but it's working. Nice. And another one. We'll rotate. We'll rotate to the left. Let's uh, angulate that one in the middle target. Boom. That in the center. And last round, target in the back. And boom. So, you can keep cycling those rounds and uh, this box magazine is uh, working. This is just for this. The Craig rifle gets extra points for being extra cool.